Uh, today we're going to run through a proof that you saw in, uh, I believe it's session number three on conjunction uh, elimination. So we're just going to run through a proof that uh, Professor Ellis showed on the uh, on the light board and do it through Jake just to show you one for one how you sort of map uh, between one and the other. So the sequence that we're trying to prove here is this second one, P and Q and R. Uh, leads you to be able to deduce P and Q and R, right? So if we pop this open here in JAPE, as you've seen from the JAPE tutorial, uh, you double click on the sequent and it now brings up this sort of uh, proof interface for you. Uh, just in the same way that on the uh, light boards, you start with the backward reasoning here. Let's take a look at what might happen if we start at the end. So P and Q and R, and we want to break that down. Eventually, if we want to be able to deduce this, we need to be able to put it together in two different parts, the P part and the Q and R part. And so we're going to use a backward reasoning step for conjunction introduction, right? Now, when we do this, you'll see in JAPE, it's automatically added to the two different parts for us. And so we have P here at some point, and we have Q and R at some point. We need to be able to deduce those before we can consider this proof complete. Um, now we can use another backward step to say, okay, if we want Q and R, we need to be able to build this with conjunction uh, introduction. So again, let's work backwards from the conjunction introduction here. And again, it updates our proof for us, right? So now the triple dots, again, these sort of indicate that this is missing proof. You need to be able to fill in these uh, blocks to sort of complete what it is that you're trying to do. Um, and so if you have R and Q and R, then you can get P and Q and R, right? So conjunction introduction from um, two, sorry, if you have P, which is in line two and line five, the Q and R, and then you're able to get line six. So it's sort of filling in the description on each of these steps for you. Now, just in the same way that the proof on the light board went, we've done everything that we can in sort of the backward uh, direction. Now let's move in the forward direction and see how we might sort of break this down. And so in the forward way, if we do conjunction elimination, you need to choose, do you want to preserve the left or the right? Preserving the left from the first line here means that we're going to keep P and Q. So when we do that, we now get P and Q on its own line. And this comes from the premise in line one and we're doing conjunction elimination. In the exact same sort of way, we do a forward step, conjunction elimination, preserving the right. Now, when we do this, it preserves R. But note that it didn't just add another R uh, on the step, it combined it with the R that we needed before. So you don't need to worry about making sure that your forward direction and your backward direction sort of matches up and over, you know, aligns like this. If it looks like they aren't interlocking, then it usually means that there's an issue with scoping, which is what we're going to see later on in the course. Um, but if there is any way to sort of uh, match it up directly, Jape will do that for you. And so we worked backwards saying that we needed event, uh, you know, uh, some way to build our final deduction, we needed R, and then we worked in the forward direction saying we can now get R with uh, conjunction elimination. And this is what you get here in line two, right? And so uh, again, here we've used conjunction elimination to get us the P and Q and conjunction elimination to get us the R. Now we need to connect these dots and these dots here. So we're going to do a conjunction elimination again in the forward way, preserving the left, this gets us our P, and you'll notice it just removed the dots for us because this now says this is where we're getting P. So we sort of filled in that part of the proof. And the final one here is to say, in order to get Q, we're going to do conjunction elimination, preserving the right. right? And now there isn't any sort of triple dots inside of here anymore. This is a complete uh, proof uh, using the deduction rules for conjunction elimination and conjunction uh, introduction. Now you might note that this doesn't look exactly like what was given on the light board. Um, the steps are kind of uh, ordered differently and that's absolutely fine. There's many different permutations of how you might go about uh, doing these deductions, but uh, the essence of the proof remains. Um, and so when we're getting you to submit the tests and the assignments and so on, um, and if you're looking at the solutions to compare what you've done with that, keep this in mind that it might look a little bit uh, different from the actual order of the individual steps, um, but the essence of the proof can be exactly the same for that. Um, and by using the JAPE software, it will make sure that it verifies that this is a correct proof. Um, so that's it for now, and uh, look forward to showing you some more proofs.